Wow, it is a crowded morning today at Animal Kingdom. The line for security is way back past the bus stops. Holy moly, and the park hasn't even opened yet. What is going on today? It's wild, but we're here, so let's go have some fun and try and figure out what the hell is going on here at Animal Kingdom today. I have not seen it this crowded first thing in the morning since Christmas. Wow, this is nuts. So we're here at Animal Kingdom today with the intention of trying to find some of the new merch that just dropped for Animal Kingdom, but I feel like we have a mystery to solve. Seeing so many people here on a Monday at Animal Kingdom when there's no party happening at Magic Kingdom makes me wonder, is there something special happening here today that we don't know about? Now, I did look up if today was a holiday of any kind. And Yom Kippur is kind of right now, I don't really know much about this holiday or how it's celebrated. So I'm wondering if that's what's impacting the crowd levels today and that there's nothing really special happening here at Animal Kingdom, at least nothing in particular, but I honestly don't know. And there are any number of things that can impact crowd levels. Maybe the park didn't open as early as it intended to for early entry. You know, something happened and they just couldn't open on time. Maybe there's a major holiday in some other country and that means higher crowds here as well. That's something to keep in mind if you're going to be visiting Walt Disney World is that not all places have schedules that are the same. So you'll see crowds ebb and flow with people from different places throughout the year. But anyway, I'm going to take a quick sip of my pina colada liquid IV. Russ doesn't like this flavor. I think it's absolutely delicious. And then um, we'll keep making our way around. You know, today's plan was not to do a whole lap of Animal Kingdom. We were just gonna take a look at merch and then move on. But with these crowds, I really wanna see what's going on. And I feel like it's a nice change of pace, you know? Not really something that I was ready to do. Oh, check it out. They saw us! <laughs> anyway, it's been a long time since we've wandered around this park for a few different reasons. It does close early this time of year. It's been closing around seven o'clock and that can make it a little bit difficult to get over here in the evenings and during the day. It's definitely warm in this park. It's definitely humid in this park, although there's a lot of shade here and there. So it's, it's a nice park to visit. We just, we don't make it over here as often as we should. We haven't done a lap very recently and it's, it's just nice to be here today. Anyway, here comes Kevin and Doug. Let's say hi before we go. We're waving, let's see if they see us. Oh, there's Doug, he saw us, Russell saw us too. I realize I said Kevin and Doug, Russell and Doug, what am I thinking? All right, let's keep going. You know, another thing I wanna talk about really briefly as we kind of make our way through the park, we're passing the theater in the wild. That's where the Finding Nemo show is. I'm seeing a lot of people upset that things aren't open yet. You know, they're rushing to certain parts of the park because they want to see that show, for example, or they want to meet Donald Duck, for example. In fact, those are two things that guests were disgruntled about this morning and asking cast members about as I was wandering up till this point in the park. Not every experience and attraction opens with the park here at Animal Kingdom or at Walt Disney World in general. Especially character meet and greets and stage shows, they do have a schedule, so make sure you check that before you make your way over to that attraction so you're not disappointed when it's closed. You may also find that shops and restaurants aren't open with the park either. So just keep that in mind kind of before you invest in what direction you're gonna walk. We're heading into the gift shop for Expedition Everest to see what they've got are these new pieces of merchandise. I think they are. We do have a limit five per guest. It's a pretty great shirt. Got a kid's shirt too. Little plushy snow leopard. Let's see what else we can find in here. All right, these are new. All right. I love this color. This like green blue. I feel like you can't see it as well on the camera. It's a great, great color. This is different though. This is not a Disney piece of merch. It's like a third party piece of merchandise. We see that sometimes 
on this attraction as well as on pirates. There are a lot of cute shirts on pirates that are third party hat. Let's check the price on this hat. So this hat is $29.99. This shirt does not have a price. Should probably check the price on these new shirts. Let's see. No price on this shirt either. We've also got some of this Wild About Disney collection. I think this is really cute with the animal print. Put the animal print here. These ears are cute. So these ears are $44.99. This spirit jersey is $79.99. We have a bucket cap, which I think is really cute. This one is $39.99. And then for $78.99, there is this lounge fly that matches those ears really nicely. We have lots of other really cute merch. Now, the other day, we looked at this Yeti, and it is a weighted plush. I really love that. But look at this. Look at this. It's a big foot plush. See how much this is? $29.99. Oh my goodness, so cute. There's some other stuff over here too in the kids section that I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm jealous of. This little crop top. It's got the mask on it, really cute. Got the Yeti Ski School, very cute. Then there's this pullover, which is really cute. But you know, you guys, it is so hot. I can't wear this. $54.99 for that. Now check out this lounge fly hat. I've never seen anything like this here. It is so cute. This one is $34.99. For $44.99, they have this crew neck long sleeve sweatshirt. This is one that I really like, you know, it's like terry on the inside as opposed to like fluffy. I like that. Lots of cute merch here right now. You know, it's kind of funny to think that just yesterday I was talking about how unimpressed I was with the merch dropping over at Magic Kingdom, and now here we are at Animal Kingdom, and it's like tons of stuff. And I just, I just went in one shop. It's gonna be an interesting trip around the park. <laughs> We're gonna keep making our way around. You know what's funny? I just heard someone say something about Mr. Kamal's fries. They said that the Fries are the same, but the sauces are different. And so we're, we're right here, so I wanted to take a look at the menu. And yes, seasoned fries only served with sriracha mayonnaise. What's that about? Part of what made those seasoned fries awesome is that you had a few different dipping sauces to choose from. And I think there were more, then it got whittled down to two. I'm sad that there's only sriracha mayo now, though. How average. We're not gonna let that keep us down. We're gonna keep walking down this secrety path. Don't let this path fool you. It is very crowded here today, at least for this time of year. And for a Monday. Normally people like to go to Magic Kingdom on Monday, so the other parks tend to have a little bit lighter crowds, although Epcot, Epcot's doing those annual pass holder and DVC previews of Journey to Water, so that might be packed. That might be part of the problem too. In fact, I know that there are no reservations for that park right now, so I don't think there's any reservations for tomorrow either. So maybe that's contributing to this issue. Either way, we're gonna keep making our way around the park. Here's the line for the safari. Check out this hidden Mickey we just spotted, thanks to a dad that's walking away with his family. This is one of those temporary hidden Mickeys that it's here today, might be gone tomorrow. All right, let's make our way to Pandora. I feel like we definitely need to find a quiet spot to sit down for a second and check wait times because I'm very curious as to see what the wait times are for attractions here today. Because sometimes crowd levels can be really deceiving. So we'll take a look here in a second. I'll be honest with you, we're having a little bit of a hard time finding a shady spot to sit for a minute, so this will have to do. Um, let's take a look at the wait times here at Animal Kingdom. So we've got five minutes for Dinosaur, five for Collie River Rapids, five for Triceratops Spin, 10 for It's Tough to Be a Bug, Expedition Everest is 15, 35 to meet Mickey and Minnie, the Safari is 40, Navi River Journey 50, and Avatar Flight of Passage 90. So it's honestly not all that bad, although there's a possibility that 
times haven't been updated. Sometimes it does take a minute for them to update the times, you know, as the line grows, but not too bad. While we're back here though, let's duck into Wind Traders and see if there's anything new in there. I love this shop. They always have some really interesting stuff, so let's see if we can spot anything new. This shop can be a little bit difficult to get into, but got some cool stuff in here. Same stuff we've seen before, at least over there. Let's see what else we can find. These are really cute. $40. They're little banshees. So if you don't want a huge banshee but you still want one, you can get one. Let me see if I can show you what they look like. Aren't they cute? And they do interact. See, there they go. That's awesome. Got some of the plants over here which are really cool. I do think that these are awesome. Now I will say, these are not souvenirs that you can just bring home with you willy-nilly. There are restrictions in terms of where you can bring plants, like where you can travel to with plants, even just within the United States. There's even a sign here that says, plants can be transported by plane anywhere in the continental United States except for California, Arizona, and Texas. Of course, if you're traveling internationally, there's a whole list of considerations that need to be made as well. But I do think that they're pretty cool. We have some pressed pennies over here too. Let's see what we got. Those are pretty neat. Does anyone else collect pressed pennies? I do. I think they're pretty cool. You can get them all over the place too, which is nice. You know, the more I make my way through the park, the more I realize that I think all of this is because people aren't able to visit other parks or don't want to visit other parks this morning. You know, like I said, there are no park pass reservations available for Epcot right now. And people avoid Magic Kingdom on Mondays like the play because they want to avoid heavy crowds. So I'm gonna go with that being the reason for Animal Kingdom being so crowded this morning. Of course, I'm sure there are other factors as well, but that's my best guess. But now we are almost at the front of the park, which is exactly where we wanted to be when we started our adventure today. So. Let's do some shopping. All right, let's take a look at some of the merch that we spotted just now. This backpack is super cute. See how much this one costs. $39.99 for this backpack. That's not too bad and it is super cute. Now we've seen this stitch shirt before. We've seen this before. Let's see what else we can find though. Oh, check it out. Here is that new Animal Kingdom merchandise. So up here we have the ear headband, which is really cute. We've got the Tree of Life there, and that is $34.99. Then we have this pillow, which I think is really pretty. I love that they have pillows like this because this is something that you can bring home and remember your trip, and it's actually useful, you know? And there is a throw down here as well. This one is $49.99. The pillow is $39.99. Over here, it looks like we have a few more things too. So there's this t-shirt, which I think is really cute. It is $39.99, but it does have, how would you describe this? It's kind of a, it's not like a women's cut, you know? Just kind of cap sleeves, not really cap sleeves. Tell me what you would call that in the comments down below. Definitely a feminine cut. Not gonna work for everyone. I'm not a huge fan of that cut, but I do think the print is really cute. And we have some other really cute items like this Christmas ornament. This one is $21.99. And there's also this coffee mug, which I think is really cute as well. This one is $19.99. Of course, that's of the same merch we've been seeing all over the place. Oh, this one looks new. I love those little baby plushies. And you may notice as we walk through here that the register in this part of the store is gone. Yes, they have removed that completely. So more room in this section, but less places to check out. Although they do have mobile checkout, so that saves a ton of time. Really cute Christmas ornament here. Hold on a second. Is this new Encanto merchandise? I don't think we've seen this merchandise before. Let's take a closer look and see what exactly 
we've got here. So we have this serving tray, which looks kind of like Maribel's door. And then we have some plates up here. These plates are $39.99. Those are beautiful. I really like that. This tray, by the way, is $29.99. Then we have some glasses, $14.99 each, and a reversible table runner. This one is $49.99. So we have Maribel on this side, and it's just black on the other side. I don't know. Reversible is debatable in my opinion, but still pretty. Then of course we have the candle, and this is $39.99, it's battery operated, very lightweight. Oh, check this out. We have a matching dress, how beautiful is this? This one is $49.99 and comes in sizes three to 12. At least that's what I see right here right now. And there is a matching headband that goes with it. Super cute. 20 bucks for that headband. Now with that out of the way, we're back in the Halloween section. We're keeping our eye out for a Halloween t-shirt for me. I want something colorful. I want something fun. Ideally, I want something like this. My only option right now seems to be this in terms of Minnie Mouse. It's just not what I want. I want some more fun, some more color than that. Minnie is such a cool character in this set. I just feel like they could do so much better than that bland. I mean, look, look at even these pajamas. Look at these pajamas. Minnie Mouse, you look great. Not all of us want this all the time. Give us some color, Disney. They do have these ears. See how bright and colorful Minnie Mouse is? I would love that just on that. Or I would love a t-shirt that is kind of like the Donald t-shirt I got Ross. I know I've said this a thousand times already. $34.99 for these ears, by the way. They're cute, but do I want them? Do I need them? We definitely saw some new stuff in there. And so now it's time to go see if we can find some new stuff across the way. That's what I'm really interested in. They've got a lot of cool stuff over there. So let's go check it out. See what we can spot in here today. I feel like we've kind of been on coffee mug watch. There have been a lot of new coffee mugs making their way out, and the newest that I'm seeing for the first time right now is this one. It might be a little bit hard to see. Is it glass? I mean, it's very lightweight, very thin. Yeah, definitely glass. I do feel like we're seeing lightweight, very fragile glass making its way into Disney and I don't really care for it. While I don't mind it at home, I do think that it's hard to travel with and that can just be annoying and really disappointing when you get home and realize that something is broken. Check out this mug. This is cute too. This one is $19.99. Looks like we also have some new water bottles here. They're really cute. This is a Pirates of the Caribbean one. And there are some sippers down there. Let's take a closer look though. So this is a Cars one. That's cute. I really love that. $29.99, very lightweight. I don't know that it's insulated, but it'll definitely do the job. Then we have this one, Pirates of the Caribbean, very cute. How much is this one? $34.99 for that one. Very adorable. Nice additions. We love water bottles here. So I was just walking past this section and it looks like we do have some of the Decades collection from the 90s here. So we've got Darkwing Duck and we have the Goofy Movie Lounge Fly. I didn't realize that there was this really cute Magic Band Plus as well. Tough to be a bug or well, not as tough to be a bug. A bug's life. Really cute. Where are the ears? Oh, here they are. These light up too. $39.99. And look at the rose petals move around. Isn't that pretty? I like that. All right, so we spotted the merch we were looking for. We saw so much more too. And now it's time to make our way out. I think it was a good day. Definitely crowded, but still a good day. Oh, you know what? I do want to check the wait times one more time before we go. So let's make our way out of the park and there's a bench right there that we can sit on and talk for a bit before we make our way back to the Jeep. Let's go. We have found our bench under a wonderful tree that is providing us with a little bit of shade. And now I wanna take a look at the wait times again. 
like I said, wait times do fluctuate, and so I want to see if they have updated any since the last time that we talked. It's currently 10.30 a.m., so it's still early, but like I said, it's really crowded in there, so let's take a look at what the wait times are and see if it's crowded or if it's busy, which I feel like are two very different things. You know, like, Crowded is when there's a lot of people hanging out and the wait times are still relatively low. Busy is when the wait times are through the roof. So let's see if it's one or the other. It's anybody's guess, like I said. Okay, so Kali River Rapids, five minutes. Triceratops Spin, five minutes. Tough to be a bug, 10 minutes. Dinosaur, 15. Expedition Everest, 20. Meeting Minnie and Mickey, 30. Navi River Journey, 50. Kilimanjaro Safari is 60 and Flight of Passage has actually gone down and is only 85. Now, of course, I anticipate those wait times to go up throughout the day, but I do find it interesting, right? Like, there's a ton of people in there for these wait times being so low. Then again, I did hear a lot of people talking about how they weren't going to wait in a 30-minute line for certain things. Other people were waiting around for shows, which are not reflected in those wait times, so it really just depends where people are going in the park today and how they're moving throughout the park. Either way, it definitely is crowded in there. And I, I was not expecting that today. But you know, I think that about does it for today. I hope you guys had fun wandering around and looking for merchandise. I know we've been looking at a lot of merch recently, but there's apparently been a lot of merch dropping. You know, I just said yesterday that you don't see a ton of new stuff coming out right now. And maybe that's true when it comes to certain things, but I'm clearly being proven wrong with all the new merch that is just popping up all over the place. So I hope that you have fun shopping a little bit for that stuff with me and just kind of exploring around the park while we do. Like I said, there wasn't anything special happening here today, not that I noticed. I mean, I was checking just different information as we were wandering around to see maybe something new had opened. No, not that I can tell, but like I said, it is Monday. I know that you're seeing this Tuesday. People like to avoid Magic Kingdom on Monday because people like to start their trip over at Magic Kingdom. And with those Journey of Water previews for annual pass holders and Disney Vacation Club members happening over at Epcot, it has been very difficult to get a park pass reservation for those parks. So unless you have a park hopper and plan on hopping over there later in the day, on a day like today, especially if you want to avoid Magic Kingdom, you're stuck with Animal Kingdom or Hollywood Studios. And I think the Animal Kingdom is a great choice for this morning. It was overcast to start the day, although the clouds have kind of burned off. And it is warm, especially for those of you who are traveling from colder climates. This can still be really, really hot. And you've seen me kind of sweating throughout today's video, which brings me to another point that I want to talk about really briefly. We'll talk about this more some other time, but I think there are a lot of people who see people like me saying it's hot and they go, oh, this isn't hot, you should be here. Or, oh, this isn't hot, you know, if you're born and raised in Florida, you're used to it. I like to mention the heat when I feel like it's hot out because I think that those of you who are visiting need to know, you need to know that it's hot. You know, you need to see the sweat sometimes to know just how toasty it is here because it is, it is toasty here. So make sure you plan for that regardless what some of the people maybe you watch here on YouTube or on other social media say or even look like. Sometimes we like to spruce ourselves up a little bit before we chat with you and it can kind of make things a little bit deceiving, make it seem like it's not necessarily as hot as it is. And I'll tell you, it's still, it's still toasty. But like I said, that's a conversation for another day. For now though, I'm gonna make my way to the Jeep. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had fun and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. By the way, if you wanna join me for the next one, subscribe. Why haven't you subscribed yet, you know? You might miss out on some really fun adventures if you're not subscribed to the channel. So make sure you do that so you don't miss anything. But like I said, I'm out of here. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.